All right. Um, continuing on with the uh, 4069, probably getting bored of this part, um, but we have this interesting uh, unbuffer device, which means it's sort of like a class B amplifier, right? And um, it's going to act in the linear region as well as the digital region. And I think uh, what I want to get out of this video is I don't think people, especially people who are starting out and maybe not in the profession, you know, never been a professional um, engineer, um, more of a hobby engineer and stuff, they don't read the data sheet. Okay, professional engineers like spend hours reading data sheets. Um, and uh, I think it's good to learn um, by reading data sheets and uh, get an appreciation for the part you're going to be using. So this one's got a lot of numbers and stuff, which I know people hate numbers. So we'll just take a look at some pictures, okay? <laughs> people love pictures. Um, so I thought one of the interesting ones would be down here. Let's see here, I guess this one. That one will do. Let's see if there's another one here. Yeah, that one will do. All right. So let's take a look at this picture right here. So what is this picture? All right, it looks complicated. So supply voltage, 15 volts, okay. And then it says 10 volts and five volts. So you go, oh, okay. So uh, I'll make something a point with so you don't have to look at my fingers. Um, so this is a, a, the 15 volt curve. This is the 10 volt curve. And this is the five volt curve. Um, and so uh, what are we graphing? Well, we're graphing input voltage versus output voltage. And so um, you can see that uh, there are two lines. Here's a line and here's a line. So there's some hysteresis. So if you go this direction, you might follow this path. And if you go the reverse direction, you might follow that path. Um, or, I'm sorry, this path and this, this path. Um, and uh, the interesting th thing about those, the shape, right? So if we have, say, zero to uh, 10 volts going in, then uh, we'll have zero to 15 volts going out. And it should follow this funny shape, okay? So let's kind of ignore the other ones. It's just gonna follow this funny shape. Let's see if we can, if we can um, create that graph on our oscilloscope, okay? Uh, so the first thing is we wanna be on the 15 volt, um, 15 volt range for voltage for VCC, so we'll put in 15 volts. Okay, so our part's got 15 volts in it now. And um, we will come over here and let me show you some, some graphs here. Oops, let's go the other way. Let me turn on, I need to make this a default on my scope. Let's turn up the grid intensity, there we go. Um, so you can see that we've got these funny, funny lines here. And um, we are, um, I shouldn't have hit the button. Let's see here, let's go back, there we go. Uh, let me turn off the touch display. How do we do that? I know there's a button for that, uh, do not, Touch the button, clear display, slope mode, clear, save screen. I don't know. I don't know how to do this scope. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're going to go from zero to 10 volts and we go along an S-shaped curve, right? If we zoom in even further, okay, and let's move it over. Yeah. So we're going to start on this side here. We're going to start at zero volts, we're gonna go up to 10, and then we're gonna go back down. So it's gonna follow this S-shaped curve and then another A-shaped curve. And you can look at them, they're not quite the same, okay? A little bit different. But this one is clipping. So let me uh, reduce the voltage. Instead of 15 volts, let's do a 12-volt curve. 
And yeah, that's better. So a 12 volt curve kind of gives you a better idea of what's going on. So we're putting 12 volts on the VCC of the part and we're ramping from zero to 10 and from 10 down to zero again. And you can see we're following these funny curves. All right. All right, so I think we saw that we've got this funny S-shaped curve, right? And it's kind of flat at the top. We saw that on the 15 volt one where it was flat and then it, and then it did the F-shaped curve. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but it doesn't come flat at the bottom. It kind of goes to a point and then comes back up again. You can rewind the tape. Um, and then we went to a 12 volt uh, VCC and we were only doing a, a, a 10 volt swing. So we were, with, we were within its boundaries. So we got more of a, uh, more of a full S-shaped curve on it. Another, another one over here. So the point of the video is to read the data sheet, look at things, look at graphs. If you see a graph that you don't understand, you think, oh, well, that's interesting. Try to reproduce those numbers um, in your own lab. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to learn how to set up test conditions. You're going to learn how to read the data sheet. Um, you're going to learn how to interpret graphs and stuff. Um, yeah. So uh, like I said, this one, the cousin come down all the way. It's kind of a little bit pointed at the bottom but it's flat on the top. So we are reproducing those curves that we saw on the data sheet. And I think we learned some things along the way.